Peter Beadle is not the type of character to sit and watch the world go by. At the age of just 23, he'd already played for teams in all four divisions, set a club transfer record and had still found the time to father two children at an age when some men are trying to clear up their acne. Beadle's boyhood dream came true when Tottenham paid £300,000 to sign him from Gillingham in 1992. But a year later, Ozzy Ardiles arrived at White Hart Lane. Um, well, it was a big downslope. It was, uh, I think he signed, he came in the summer and within um, a week and a half of the season actually starting, I got, you know, told to go to see him in his office. I went in there and he told me he was going to put me on the transfer list. So it was quite a big shock because I'd done very well in pre-season as well. I'd scored, I think, nine goals in seven friendlies in the pre-season with the reserves. And I was playing quite well. I was quite fit, quite strong. And I thought, you know, I'm doing well here. I could be pushing for a place this year. And then I think it was the second game of the season on the Monday morning, the day before the night they played Tottenham, uh, Tottenham Arsenal on Sky. It was that morning. Uh, and he called me and said, we were going to put you on the transfer list. And... You know, it was, a, it was a big disappointment for me. It's going to be Bristol Rovers. He'll get us underway. That was Peter's first touch as a Rovers player. His debut at Wickham finished in a 1-1 draw. Dangerous. And this is Stewart. Chance. Oh, he's in the woodwork. Beadle. It's 2 now. Stewart's got it. It was like ping pong. And that is that. Rovers 2. You seem to gel with Marcus straight away. I remember a home game against Oxford United when the two of you looked as though you'd been playing together for years. Yeah, I think that was probably the, the start of, of quite a good partnership. I'd played uh, the one game at Wickham. Obviously, I didn't actually know anyone. I'd not trained with the lads or nothing like that. I just came in and played that day. Um, got injured at Brislington on a Tuesday night in a friendly to open their floodlights, which obviously didn't go down too well. Me and both me and Dave got injured that night. Um, then missed the next two games, Stockport and Bournemouth at home, and then come back for Oxford, and then things just clicked from there. Marcus had got two goals that night, and I think that lifted a lot of weight off his shoulders to actually get off the mark again and get scoring again. Um, and then things just went from there. We just seemed to click. We played. We seemed to have a sort of, you know, to know where one another were at, at different times during the game, and we just managed to pick one another out, and we both went on on quite a good run of scoring goals. Not go to the front post. Miller's there. That's a goal. Uh, Beadle, the front post corner. Beadle's first Rovers goal came at Shrewsbury, but a far bigger game was just on the horizon. Going into the Ashton Gate derby that year, you were on a good run, as you say. You must have been looking forward to that. Yeah, I mean, obviously it was a derby game, my first Bristol one, and you know, with both clubs being in the second division, I didn't really know what to expect, sort of crowd-wise. Um, I'd played at Watford Luton in the first team and uh, Tottenham Arsenal in the reserves, Gillingham Mayston in the league and you never know what to expect, every derby is different in its own little way but when I watched it, I to actually come out that night and to sort of, you know, it really opened your eyes as to how much it meant to everybody so it was, it was a big game and obviously, was, you, you know, these are the sort of games you have to look forward to. Edwards. Well, Stewart's through, this is Gurney, what a chance now for Rovers! There's the shot, and it comes out again. It's in there, and Rovers are in front. And it's Peter Beadle, astonishing again. Rovers won, City nil, and the scenes behind that goal are joyous. An absorbing derby. Rovers in front. It's Beadle now, though. Stewart's this side. Will he feed him? He'll go for the shot. It's two. It's Peter Beadle. He's killed it. City dead, Ken. Peter, of course, will always remember two local derby games, both played at Ashton Gate. He got those two goals when Rovers won 2-0 against City. He was interviewed by a Radio Bristol reporter, not me, I might add, after the game. He, Peter was asked, how do you feel after this good victory and your two marvellous goals? And Peter said, it's, well, I can't really repeat exactly what Peter said, but I can assure you he was very, very pleased and uh, didn't realise he was live on air. Peter, I think, remembers this, actually. Yeah, uh, he, he sort of got us as we was coming off the pitch and said, any chance of a live interview? And I said, yeah, fine, you know, and obviously the, the blood was still pumping, I was still hyped up, and uh, he sort of asked me how the lads, how I thought the lads had done, and I sort of effed them blind a little bit down the radio, and he wasn't too pleased when I said that. But, but I think it was just a case of I was just hyped up and the lads had played terrifically well, and I'd got two goals, and it was just a wonderful night. Archer. Good cross, Beano! It's there! It's Beano! And it's a wonder goal! And the place goes mad! Although Rovers' season ended in ultimate disappointment, finishing 10th, the 95-96 campaign was Peter's most prolific yet, with 12 goals and only 26 starts.
With Rovers return to Bristol, Beadle reached another landmark. Beadle, go! Peter Beadle, 1 0. Beadle's on side, does well. Turns away from trouble, he's going to feed Bennett. Good cross! Oh my goodness, Beadle! Yay! 2 0! It's Peter Beadle now! Again. Look at this, Archer's away now, if he finds him. 3-0, it's Beadle's hat-trick. What about that one? After his first ever hat-trick, Beadle was in the mood to return to Ashton Gate. This is a good move now, though, with Rovers. Curtin, Harris is there. Skinner, Beadle, yes, what a goal that was, super strike from Beadle. Rovers finally pulled clear of the relegation dogfight, largely thanks to this crucial win at Peterborough. Cue another Beadle scorcher. Beadle available to collect in midfield and then Rovers give it away, but Lockwood straight in. That's good vision. Excellent. Out to Penrice. Early ball in towards Beadle. What a goal. That's a terrific goal from Bristol Rovers. It really was.